Walmart! So we are in the camping, hunting, and outdoor section, and we're gonna be checking out and seeing what they have in stock this week. The very first item is actually a flashlight. This is a 400 lumen, kind of like a spotlight flashlight. The cool thing is it has a try me button. So we have the normal standard flashlight. You have the bright setting, the low setting, then you have a red emergency flasher. But the great thing about this flashlight, which I'm definitely gonna be picking up, only $9. This is the Cam Jam, basically designed to actually cinch down your tarp um, cordage that when you're setting up a tent or a tarp or anything like that without actually having to tie any knots Whether you're a tin camping or tarp camping these aluminum tent stakes that you can find at Walmart are freaking invaluable Especially at 76 cents a piece. So this is kind of neat. I've actually never seen this before This is a basically a replacement hardware combo kit for your backpacks bags dry bags sleeping bags camping tents anything like that It gives you for about four dollars with three dollars and eighty six cents gives you a chance to replace some of those items crap 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 and more crap Stop asking. So this looks pretty new. This is the 17 in one Ozark Trail multi-tool with looks like a rubberized handle grip on it. And uh, the old one was about $7, but it was all metal and it was a piece of crap. So maybe we can check this one out and see for an extra $3 if it makes a difference. I believe someone actually told me in one of my uh, videos that uh, this three piece Ozark Trail cookware set, one of these cups actually fit the clean canteen um, as the nesting pot for a canteen set. Which, if that's correct, for this three-piece set only being $9.88, that would definitely be a much cheaper option to the GSI cup. So for those of you who gave me crap for the 88 cent plastic wear set, they have a slightly upgraded set for $1.88. You get um, a knife, the fork, and the spoon, and it's connected to a lanyard. I mean, you could probably spend 20 cents and buy a metal lanyard just to make sure it wouldn't go anywhere, but if you're looking for metal and weight's not too big of a deal for you, rock it. So I believe this is actually the cup that um, one of my buddies on YouTube was talking about. This is the Ozark Trail 18 ounce nesting cup, and that's only five bucks. So for those of you who want to my keep your junk clean video for wilderness hygiene, if you don't want to pay for the more expensive um, waterproof match holder, you can come to Walmart and get one of the Coleman ones for a dollar. Okay, this is the first time I just saw this. I'm over in the fishing section. So for all you guys who are over here with the fillet knives and everything, this could, if, could this be a Mora killer? It has the Mora-like design. This is definitely something I'm interested in testing, stainless steel knife. Here is the freaking kicker. Now it has to pass testing, but it's $2.87. So this is my first time seeing this, could have found in the same section where I found the $3 knife. This is a 15 in one angler's heavy duty multi-tool. However, looking at all of the tools, it looks like a lot of the tools are something you could just use for an everyday carry multi-tool, but it has the added benefits of it being useful when fishing. So again, we're in one of my favorite spots, which is basically the knife case. And it looks like they got a bunch of new stuff in the case anyway. None of it's actually necessarily what I would call new. Like they have the Gerber Prodigy and the Cryo and everything, but yeah, eh. This is the knife you need if you just got done playing Call of Duty. Uh, leave it to Ultimate Survival Technologies to bastardize an already Chinese, very Chinese product. I have a quick question. I want to know if anybody has any experience with these travel hammocks. The uh, reason why is a lot of them have a 300 or 400 pound weight limit, but they're super cheap at only 25 bucks. Holy moly, I don't know if you guys saw this during Christmas time. This is the basically the Equate first aid kit. Bunch of ouchy boo boo stuff, tweezers, gloves, all that good stuff. But they went from 10 bucks to eight. Now instead of going to just the camping and outdoor section, if you go to the craft section where you find some of the wooden pieces for crafts and arts and stuff, they actually have a lot of different choices and thicknesses for Duke cordage and none of it's over three bucks. As silly as this might sound, if you stick this in an emergency pack or you put it a part of somewhere when you get to go to travel, let's say you do have earth tone, dark colors, camping gear, anything like that, and you need to make sure you have more of a retro reflection, a little bit more visible if you get into an emergency situation for people to find you, for about two bucks, you can add 64 inches of reflectivity to any amount of clothing. To boost morale if you're ever in a survival situation. So if you're on a tight budget and you want something to uh, be kind of like a coffee pre-filter, put it around your neck, scarf, you can use these bandanas. 
but here at Walmart, you have a ridiculous variety for men, ladies, kids, everything for a dollar. You may laugh at me, but this is the this is pantyhose. But for 50 cents, if you're going to be out in the woods, this could be something that could help you keep um, ticks off of your skin when you're outside. These ultimate absorbency pads, if you keep one or two of them in your bug out bag, it's a super cheap way for you and your family to actually have emergency gauze if there's any serious bleeding injuries so you can get back to civilization and back to help and can save your ass, especially when you get 33 pads for $11. Hand sanitizer in a survival situation, these things are freaking awesome. Doesn't really matter what brand you get, they're really good to keep your hands clean in a survival situation, but in an emergency, in a pinch, fire starter. A lot of people overlook the travel section, but a 12 piece first aid kit for 97 cents. All right, so I know uh, petroleum gel and cotton balls are super, super, super popular, but check this out. Uh, you can use Neosporin or this first aid stuff as a replacement, but you can use this first aid antibiotic plus pain relief in lieu of petroleum jelly for your cotton ball uh, swabs. And what that does is it also gives you a innovative and multi-use function for your petroleum jelly cotton balls rounds by providing a first aid aspect if you don't need them right away for fire starting and you get an ouchie boo-boo. Like I pointed out with the first aid analgesic stuff, you can take these big huge cotton balls, this 400 pack, and if you're really innovative, you can um, separate these out to like half sizes and mix them in with the first aid antibiotic stuff. It's a little more expensive, but it gives you a super awesome fire starter that lights up just as well as petroleum jelly and cotton balls, but also has first aid properties. And we are back from our trip from Walmart and man did we come up with a huge freaking haul There was so many awesome budget friendly items I just really couldn't pick from the well placed first aid kit to all the budget friendly multi tools the awesome fire starting stuff with the analgesic and the first aid stuff with the cotton pads this really awesome like $9 flashlight 400 lumens with a whole bunch of freaking modes on it and a magnetic tail stand which is the total option I completely missed this is something I'm definitely going to be testing out. I'm really excited about this. But the knives that I'm most intrigued about, as I said, this was a $3 knife. But actually, I found out, and this looks almost identical to the Mora 511. I found out this knife is $1.97. This is the Billy Bay, um, basically, bait cutting knife. But I definitely want to stick this head to head to that and see what's up. Out of all of the items that we picked up, which items were your favorite? And also, don't forget to mention which items are you the most excited for us to test? Because, I mean, there's a lot of really cool stuff here that is very budget friendly. I think we got all of this stuff for like 75 bucks, which is ridiculous. When you think about it, we have 64 inches of reflective tape. We got four 10 stakes, a $1 bandana. Two knives for about five bucks. We have first aid antibiotic pain reliever that we can use for cotton swabs. We have a flashlight. Two cam jams for uh, tarp tents. I should probably should have got another pack. We have the plastic holder with the 25 matches, but we'll also use that for, you can use them for the microfiber towels. We have the three piece cook set. We have the hard, replacement hardware set. Two multi-tools, the cotton pads, and a first aid kit for all about 75 bucks, which was freaking amazing. But all in all, that just about is it for now. And if you're excited about us going on more awesome trips around our city to some awesome places, definitely give your suggestions in the comment section below of where you would like us to go next, whether we go to Lowe's, Home Depot, anything like that. Definitely be sure to leave that in the video comments. But don't forget to share this out with your friends and family in your social media network so we can keep growing, thriving, and making awesome videos for you guys. But that just about is it for now. I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.